Welcome again. Uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration too on proper cleaning of the uh, air, airbrush. Um, you know, depending on whether you're using solvent-based or water-based is going to make a difference, of course, and that basically is to with what type of solvent that you're going to use. In this case, we have a water-based, but if it was a solvent-based paint, then we would be using some type of thinner that was comparable to that particular paint. Now, with the gravity feed gun like we have here, which is the Sodograph B, I believe, then uh, what we have is this chamber here, which of course holds the paint. So when you want to clean a gun out, first thing you need to do is remove the cap. As you can see, the cap gets a lot of paint in the top of it too, which we'll have to address as well. But typically we'll take what paint we have in there, and if there's any that's, that will run out of the paint, water-based paints are a lot thicker, and you can see a little bit's coming out, but not a lot. But what that does is it really coats the inside of the, the paint cup. So uh, a lot of people, when they try to clean these things out, they'll, they'll just squirt a little bit of water in and shake it around and try to spray it out. Well, that'll take you forever to do it that way. So what we typically suggest that you do is you'll put your thinner or your water into the cup. I'm putting the cap back on it and because it had a lot of that thick water base still stuck in the cap, I'm putting my finger over the breather hole and I'm just shaking it up a little bit and let that water do a little bit of work on loosening that stuff up some. And then you just dump it. And literally that's how we will clean this out. We'll actually use the water or the solvent and let the pressure of that, whether you can the squeeze bottle or you can use a squirter bottle, which will give you a higher pressure, and that works really, really good. And what I'll do is we'll blast it off anything that's stuck on the sides. You literally blast it off with your solvent or your water and into a retaining cup that'll hold it. And, and very quickly, you can see we pretty much clean the majority of it out. Now, we still have paint that's going to be between there and the tip that's inside that gun. And that has to be cleaned out as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in there and I'm going to blast through that. And this is what we call back flushing. Now with the Sodograph 4, you know that we have a reversible tip and I have that tip reversed right now. So the needle is exposed. So you don't want to be popping your finger on that with a nice sharp needle. You're going to get poked pretty good. So what we do is I throttle it open and I'm pulling the needle all the way back and I can take my finger and do this. What that does is cause bubbles to come up into the paint chamber. What that's doing is back flushing the gun and that blasts it back through there and that loosens up a lot of those bigger chunks. So that works out really good for us. Okay, and I'm just shaking this around and spraying. And when I see that I've sprayed and I'm not getting any more color coming out of the end of that, then I pretty well have that clean. And this is like field cleaning. This would be so if I wanted to change colors, I might even go that much. Now I have the, the top of the cap to deal with as well. So I'm going to do the same type of thing. I'm just going to use the water pressure or solvent pressure, what I remember doing, and blast it out of there. And I'm basically I have that cleaned off. And then you can wipe any of the, the, the residue that's still around off of the gun. Now, this is a, not a thorough, thorough cleaning. Sometimes what happens though, and this is something that you have to be mindful of, and this happens to pros and novices alike because we all get in a hurry sometimes. But the needle runs through the bottom of this cup. And what happens? A lot of times when you just do a real quick cleaning, there's still some paint residue that's on there. And they leave this gun to set, say, overnight or for days. And think that that's good enough before they try to use the gun again. Now what happens is if you have paint residue that dries on that needle in this cup or anywhere up in that tip, that is forward of the uh, o-ring that's down inside the body of the gun which was put there to keep paint from slipping back around the needle back into the main cavity of the gun and with that dried paint around that needle when you loosen up the gun and pull that needle out if that has that dried paint on there what that does is it chunks its way through that o-ring basically scarring or cutting little grooves into that o-ring and that can damage that o-ring which can cause leaking later on of paint to go back through and into the main chamber of the gun. So when you feel clean like I just did very quickly and we rinsed out with solvent or whatever, you want to make sure that you pull that needle out. 
and you take that needle and you wipe that needle off good. While you have the needle out, take some more of your solvent and just push through there. You can still lean it forward. If you lean it back, it's going to run back into the back chamber of your gun. If this is solvent, we don't want that happening because the O-ring that's in the air valve chamber is made of rubber. And that's because they can't make those things out of, out of um, Teflon because it's too rigid and it doesn't seal. So we do not want solvent getting back to the end of the gun. So if that needle is out of this gun, you make sure you have that gun tipped very much forward. Now if you're worried that any got back there, you just keep your air on. Because if you keep your air on, it's going to be blowing air through there, and if there any did get back there, it's going to dry it out before it has time to contaminate and ruin that rubber seal, okay? So it's keeping the solvents out of that back space, which is why we were doing this preventatively so that it didn't have any dried paint on this that we would drag back through that center O-ring and create some grooves or cuts in there which could uh, come back to haunt us at a later time. So even when you do a quick cleaning or a thorough cleaning, thorough cleaning would be to completely disassemble the gun part by part. Usually uh, you do that uh, at the end of, uh, you know, when, when you're going to store the gun for a longer period of time. Uh, just doing a, a rough cleaning like this is very sufficient, but the key is pull the needle out, okay, and make sure that that's cleaned really good. Once it is, we can slide our needle back in. Here's what I would suggest that you do, though, and that's use some of the, the lube that we have. And uh, this is like a, like a, a grease. It uh, almost looks like a paste. It's white in nature. You can see there and just a little bit of that on the needle. And I'm just going to rub that on there with my fingers. This will seal up the, uh, you know, lubricate that so that it'll go through. It'll keep that O-ring nice and soft. And it'll also keep your paint from wanting to adhere and stick and dry to that. Okay? You want to make sure that your, your, your trigger's back in place. Because when you've got the needle out, that trigger's vulnerable to being able to come out of there and get out of, out of whack. And then it's not going in. So you always want to make sure that that thing is back into where it belongs and you can move around when you hear it pushing, okay, and it's set in its place, then we can put the needle back through. Because if you put the needle through there and that's not in its position, you can't readjust it. You have to pull the needle back out. So you want to make sure the trigger's in place. Now we can lock that back on. Now we have the needle cleaned, it's lubed, nothing's going to stick to it. This gun can set for months and I can put more paint in it and rock and roll and go. So that's, that's the way to keep your gun clean, maintained, lube those needles and make sure you don't let paint dry inside that cup at all on that needle before you know you pull it out through there because that can damage that inner o-ring which again causes leakage back into the back. If you've got solvents then it can create all kinds of other problems. But it's a very simple solution to fix and to maintain the cleanliness of your gun. So there's your basic field cleaning. Happy painting.